Whiff takes a message. The engines of the Fat Controllers Railway are always very busy. It's full of sounds of engines, shunting trucks in the yards, pulling trains along the tracks, and sometimes it's full of engines racing together. One engine who doesn't go as fast as the other engines is Whiff. Whiff is not as fast as the other engines, but he doesn't mind. He knows he can be really useful in his own way. One day, Whiff pulled into Natford Station Yards to collect his trucks of rubbish to take to the Sodor Waste Dump. When he arrived, he saw the Fat Controller standing in the yards, holding his nose. Oh, what a horrible smell! Hello, sir! Oh, uh, hello, Whiff! Something wrong, sir? Yes, Whiff. These trucks of fish are stinking up the yards. James should have been here ages ago, but he's very late. Oh, I see. Um, are my trucks of rubbish here, sir? Oh, oh yes. Uh, they're right over there, Whiff. Uh, could you take them away, please? Yes, sir. I can do that, sir. Whiff was cobbled up to his rubbish trucks and set off out of the yards to collect his next load. He had just left the junction and he had passed the signals when he saw James coming his way. Hello, Stinky. That's very rich coming from you, James. And what's that supposed to mean? The Fat Controller is waiting for you at the shanty yards. He's waiting for you to collect a train of fish that needs to be taken to Vickerstown Station. Fish? Me? Hurry up, James. Orders are orders, remember? <laughs> oh. We felt pleased after teasing James like that. He thought his day was going very well. I bet James is not having a good day right now, stinking up the air with his fish trucks. Out of the way! Private engine coming through! Hello, Spencer! Sorry, Wiff. Can't stop to talk. I have an important appointment to keep. <gasps> Hello, sir. Hello, ma'am. Oh, look, dear. It's Wiff. Hello, Wiff. Sorry we can't stop. We have to get to Olstead Castle for a meeting. Of course. I understand, sir. Goodbye, sir. Ma'am. Bye, Wiff. See you again soon! Huh! <laughs> You'd think the Duke and Duchess would want anything to do with a scruffy little engine like that! Whiff pulled into Wellsworth Station to collect his next load of rubbish trucks. As he stopped in the platform to wait for his trucks, he noticed Thomas standing by the water tower. He was getting ready for his next train. Hello, Thomas! You look excited about something! Hello, Whiff! I'm looking forward to taking Annie and Clarabelle on my branch line. And who knows, maybe I will get to race Bertie the bus again. You and Bertie like to race? Yes, Whiff. The first time we raced, we went all the way from the start of the branch line and finished at the station at Barqua. I won because I got to go through the hill while Bertie had to go over it. Wow, that sounds like fang! It is, Whiff. It really is fun to race each other. Come on, Thomas. Your tank is full. It's time to go. Yes, sir. Bye, Whiff. I'll see you again soon. Goodbye, Thomas. Here you go, Whiff. Thank you, Edward. Whiff continued his journey across the island. As he did so, he was thinking about Thomas's race with Bertie. He thought it was very exciting. I bet it's fun to have a race. Soon, he came to a junction. His signal was red and he had to stop. On the next line was Percy. He was pulling trucks of vans to take to the market. Hello, Whiff. You look pleased about something. Hello, Percy. I've been hearing about Thomas's race with Bertie the bus. 
Did you know he won because he had to go through, through the, the hell whilst Bertie had to go over it? Oh, you know. Everyone knows about Thomas's race with Bertie, but that's not as exciting as my race I had with Howard the Helicopter. You had a race with Howard? Yes, I did. Howard said railways were slow and out of date, so I raced him all the way to the new harbour the Fat Controller was building at the time. It was a fun race, and we were having a hard time keeping in front, but we won the race, and he was still in the air when we won the race. He probably lost because he wasted too much time trying to find a spot to land. You know, Whiff, that's exactly what happened. Then, Harold flew into view over the two engines. Hello, Percy, old chap. Hello, Whiff. Hello, Hello Harold! Percy was telling me all about the race you both had with each other a long time ago. Oh, yes. I do admit it was quite a day. I didn't realize it was a race until Percy raced on ahead. And I proved I was a very fast little engine! <laughs> yes, you did, Percy. But I can't stop to chant all day. I have to get back to my patrol. We helicopters are always quick when it comes to racing in the air. Bye, Harold! <sighs> Harold always likes to make me feel second best. Look at the bright side, Percy! At least you didn't have to find a spot to stop to help you win the race. You're right there, Whiff. Oh, sorry, Whiff. I had better go. The market will be waiting for my vans. Bye, Percy. When he was finally on his way again, Whiff was now beginning to think more about the races he had heard from the, his friends. As he collected his rubbish trucks from Kurt Bowman Station, he was thinking about the race Thomas had with Bertie. Then, as he collected his next lot of trucks from Hackenback Station, Whiff was thinking about Percy's race he had with Harold. The more he began to think about races, the more he wanted to have a race of his own. But he wasn't sure how he was going to be able to have one. I wish I could have a race with someone, then I could try and show how fast I can go. You have a job to do with. Besides, you're not built for speed. This way, Whiff feel very left out. Then, Whiff came up to the level crossing, and he had to stop to let Jack and Isabella through the gates. Jack and Isabella were delivering supplies to a building site. Hi Whiff, good to see you. Ah, keep that smelly rubbish away from my paintwork. Isabella, please. Whiff is doing his best to help keep the island clean and tidy. Oh, sorry Whiff. I just can't stand the smell of rubbish, that's all. No offense. None drinking. Then, the level crossing gates opened and Whiff was on his way. Further up the track, Whiff was puffing alongside a road. He knew Bertie would pick up some passengers along this route. Suddenly, he noticed a figure in blue waving their hands in the air. Look at that! Is something wrong? We better stop and see what's happened. His driver put a hand on the brakes and the train slowly came to a stop by the fence. They discovered it was Lady Hat, waving her hands. Hello Lady Hat! What's the matter? I need help! I'm supposed to be going to the Duke and Duchess of Boxford Summer House for afternoon tea and cakes, but Bertie has left me behind. I'm going to be late if I don't make it on time. Can you please help me? Whiff wasn't sure what to do, but he didn't want to leave Lady Hat stranded. Then, he had an idea. Climb aboard my brake man! We'll get you to the summer house in time! Hold the board, Mom! Oh, thank you, Whiff, but please hurry! Whiff set off down the tracks as fast as he could, but he wasn't able to go any faster because he was pulling a long line of rubbish trucks. His driver was shoveling as much coal into his boiler as he could. Whiff's face went redder and his steam was shooting high into the air. I must make it! I must make it! Then, he heard the sound of Harold's blaze from the sky. Whiff looked and saw Harold flying above. Harold was looking puzzled. I say, Whiff, what are you up to? Your steam is shooting very high into the sky. 
I know. I'm trying to get Lady Hats to the... Riff? What's wrong? Harold, can you help, please? Lady Hats needs to get to the Duke and Duchess of Boxford Summer House for afternoon tea. But I'm not fast enough to get in there. Could you take her there, please? I'd be delighted to, Riff. Stop, please, and I'll take over. Whiff had stopped by Empty Field and Lady Hat climbed aboard Harold. She happily waved goodbye to Whiff as Harold took off into the air once again. After Harold had gone, Whiff was now beginning to feel very ashamed with himself. Oh dear, I wasn't very helpful at all. Later, Whiff returned to the Sodor Waste Dump, feeling very miserable. He wished he could have been more helpful towards Lady Hat. Then, as he stopped to get his breath back, the manager arrived to see him. Whiff! Whiff! Thank goodness you're here! I have a message for you! You need to go to the Duke of Dutch's Depart for Summer House! What? Me, sir? But what about the rubbish trucks? This is important, Whiff! The faculty will want to see you immediately! Leave us to worry about the rubbish trucks! <gasps> oh no! Oh, yes sir! On my way, sir! Whiff was uncoupled from the trucks and he raced out of the rubbish dump. As he puffed along the line, he was dreading on what the fat controller was going to say. Then he remembered Lady Hat and realised what it might be about. The fat controller will be cross because I didn't get Lady Hat to the summer house. Oh no! Soon, Whiff could see the summer house in the distance. He was now beginning to worry. Lady Hat, the Duke and Duchess of Boxford, and the Fat Controller were on the platform waiting for Whiff. Harold was close by on the grass, and Spencer was waiting on the other line. Then Lady Hat jumped in delight. Here he comes, dear. Whiff is coming. Whiff, I'm glad you're here. I hear you helped Lady Hat get here to the summer house. That was very kind of you. Yes, thank you, Whiff. You're a hero. But Whiff didn't feel very happy right now. His face looked very sad. Whiff, are you all right? Is something wrong? <sighs> I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm no hero, sir. I tried to help Lady Ad get here, but I wasn't fast enough. I was too slow, so I had to ask Harold to take her the rest of the way. It's Harold you should be thanking, sir, not me. But Whiff, your quick thinking is what makes you a hero. You helped Lady Hat first, and then asked Harold to help you when you were struggling to get here. That's right, you turned to Harold for assistance and still helped me get to the summer house. There's no shame in asking for help, Whiff. Everyone needs help with something sometimes. You know, Whiff, I hardly ever say stuff like this, but today you impressed me. You may be a little engine, but you're a very clever engine to think of an idea like that. Well said, Spencer. He's right, Whiff. You're a clever engine, and that's what makes you useful. I couldn't agree more on that. Three cheers for Whiff. Hip hip hooray! hooray! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Thank you very much everyone, and thank you Harold for helping me when I needed you. Think nothing of it, Whiff. Glad to be of service. Anytime. You are both really useful and true heroes today. I am proud of you. Harold smiled and Whiff gave a happy toot of his whistle and even Spencer joined in. Well done Whiff! And no one could have been more happier than Whiff, the rubbish engine.